Hello everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week on Throttle Grotto, we're doing wiring. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So finally we are back to the rabbit. Uh, I've got all the other garbage out of the way and I've got some time in the evening to work on the car. And so here we are. Uh, it is time to do some engine wiring. Um, figured this week I would try to get the engine harness wired into, uh, well, let me back up. So since we put Cabriolet harness in this car from a 90-ish Cabriolet with the CE2 wiring, um, the engine compartment harness that comes out to do the engine management uh, has this plug. So this is from the Digifont series wiring that was in the car. And uh, we need to incorporate the AEB wiring for the Audi uh, 1.8T. And uh, basically we're gonna make, gonna make all this right here. Well, not all of it. These five plugs right here um, are going to end up going into this plug. Now, we're not going to use all of these wires, um, but these five, uh, there's five wires here that we need to supply power to the engine. And fortunately, I have a, a handy little chart already printed out here. So I kind of already know where the wires are supposed to go. I don't have to go digging through the wiring diagrams or anything like that. Um, fortunately, some people have done this swap before, so uh, I don't have to blaze any trails or anything like that. But still, oh, still work has to be done. So time to get to it. <laughs> okay, so when I said that this was going to be easy because I already had a chart. Uh, this chart's only half of it. Uh, I found this online on one of the forums, and um, it it's labeled for uh, what wires it's supposed to go to, but it's not labeled very well. So what I'm having to do is I'm having to take each one of these wires, go back into the wiring diagram, and see exactly what each one of these wires um, like the plug that this interface is with where those wires go to so that I know like for instance this one is a uh, wire that comes from the fuel pump relay so uh, I can hook that to the fuel pump relay wiring on the yellow plug which I don't have a yellow plug so this could get really interesting really fast. <laughs> Let's see how far I can get with this. So after some significant time fudging around <laughs> with uh, a wiring harness that I got online and the factory manual that I have for the uh, cabriolet side of the wiring, um, I've got like four or five wires figured out. So <laughs> I've got a lot of work left to do. Uh, I need to go and figure out, so I, this wiring diagram that I have here is from a Passat. And I think the Audi plugs are just a little bit different. So I didn't make nearly as much progress as I thought I would tonight. Um, so I'm going to go in and try to find the right wiring diagram. Uh, oddly enough, I think I have one saved at work that I can email myself. So uh, that will help quite a bit, is having the right wiring diagram to match up. Um, 
So I'm going to call it a night and uh, try to do some homework to see if I can make this go a little bit more smoothly. What I'd like to do is by the end of the week, I'd like to be able to have uh, where I can take the engine harness and uh, test for power at all the pins that I'm supposed to have power at. Uh, to make sure that, you know, like I've got power at the ECU, I've got power at the injectors, I've got power at all the things that I'm supposed to have. So when I finally do put a battery and I hit the key, I don't fry anything. So that's the goal. So, as you guys know, I've been racing rallycross, and the um, the events are not close to here at all. They're uh, at usually uh, anywhere from a half an hour to two hours away. So, having an old car that you take to the event and race and then try to drive home, not a great idea. It can be done, but it's not a great idea. So. I put out some feelers and uh, one of the guys on one of the rally forums actually came back to me with this. Yep, bought a tow dolly. So now I can tow my car to the race and back without renting one from U-Haul, which is, so it's really helpful because now I don't have to like play the U-Haul game where I go pick it up the night before and try to pick it up like right at the last minute so that I don't have to pay for that day. Then I get it the whole next day and I usually only want to rent it for four hours. So it becomes tough because like, and if I don't get back, like last time I didn't get back here until well after U-Haul closed, so they wanted to charge me another day. Just a mess. Um, so potentially it could cost me a hundred bucks a day to rent a $50 tow dolly. So this one was 200 bucks. Um, I did have to, <laughs> there's a huge story behind picking this one up. And uh, maybe at some point uh, when I'm either doing podcasts or like daily vlogs or something like that, I'll, I'll tell the story behind getting the tow dolly because it was, ah, it's one of those roadkill type days. So, uh, but um, working on the tow dolly, trying to get that done uh, because I have a race in two weeks. And so I'm trying to keep on schedule with the videos, getting them out once a week, but my work schedule's changed again and uh, it is becoming a little more difficult to get everything done during the week. Uh, housework, projects, keeping cars running, um, and uh, there's just a lot going on. So um, I'm gonna try to keep you guys at once a week for videos. And uh, hopefully uh, sometime this summer, I go back to my regular schedule, which is uh, a little more flexible. Hey everybody, welcome back. So as you can see from the mess behind me, um, started working on the wiring again and trying to get the ECU located in the car. Um, one of the issues I ran into is that the wiring harness isn't long enough, so I'm having to actually extend all of the ECU wiring so that I can run the plug in through the hole in the firewall and then mount the ECU on the passenger side of the car. Uh, so I'm having to extend the wiring about four feet. Uh, I've already got one of the plugs for the ECU done. And uh... <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try to get this other one done today, and uh, hopefully, uh, I've got a couple issues. One is hopefully all that wiring fits through one grommet. It's getting it's getting pretty tight here already with with the one ECU. So I think the first thing I'm going to try to do is take. The rest of the wiring that I have to get into uh, for the other plug and see if I can get it to fit inside of this uh, inside <laughs> of this grommet which doesn't look promising but if I can get all the wiring in one grommet then I can run it through the factory location and uh, just extend this plug to match and then uh, things will be 
reasonably happy with that. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so it is a tight fit in this firewall grommet, but I have all of the wires that I need to hook up uh, run through one grommet, which is awesome. And now I just need to cut all these and extend all these wires so that they uh, match up. And uh, then I will be done for the day. Um, I <laughs> spent a lot of time running around trying to get one of these grommets and uh, finally found a junkyard that had a couple of them that were intact so that I could actually work. Um, uh, I could actually work with what I was taking out instead of it just falling apart. Uh, I probably could have bought a new one, but I really like, didn't find out till last night that where I was trying to put the ECU just wasn't gonna work. So this is the solution. And uh, now I'm gonna start cutting wires and hooking all this stuff up. everybody so <laughs> this is done I have extended I know this looks terrible right now but um, I've extended this wiring harness by about four feet um, which should allow me enough to run from the hole over there in the firewall all the way across the passenger side mounted up behind the glove box nobody will ever see it and the ECU will stay dry so that uh, Unfortunately, um, I shut the camera off accidentally halfway through it, but you kind of get the idea. It's basically cut, lengthen, solder, heat shrink, and then you do that for about 65, 65 wires or so. Um, so that took me most of the day, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad this part of it's done. At least now I know that I can run these plugs through the firewall and I can get the ECU where I want it instead of uh, instead of it like trying to jam it up into the corner here where the fuse box is and all that stuff just wasn't gonna work so that is all the progress I'm able to make for today but uh, feels good it's nice to have this part of it done and uh, like you can see it's not difficult work it's just tedious you know um, but I went through a whole package of heat shrink and about 200 feet of wire to do this. So <laughs> if that gives you any idea of, uh, of the fun. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to wrap it up uh, until next week. Thanks so much for watching and uh, get out there and work on something. <laughs>